We're video games. Ah yes, burger time. A tale old as time. Burger Time is, in its heart, a game about making giant burgers. And I ask you, who among us cannot relate to the plight of man making giant burgers with his shoes? This is the human condition. Hold on, it's been a few seconds. That should be enough time for some of the viewers to bang out some angry comments. Burger Time isn't weird, it's a classic. I guess people these days have nothing better to do than rip on games that are actually creative. I played this, this is in so 1985. Of this it's current not generation. Weird. Games back then were better because they didn't need to be Fortnite or people Apex will complain Legends about you call this weird, and but and we would line up for hours just to acceptable shake to enter an arcade or bowling alley and then we ran out to take arms against hordes of hot dog monsters. Oh no, this game is not weird at all. I mean, it's just about a chef making burgers bigger than a cargo van by walking on all the ingredients, all the while being mobbed by living hot dogs. I mean, it's made by Data East, of course known for making remarkably normal games. I don't know if this is meant to be a tiny man, or if these are burgers made from the meat of a hundred cows. Either way, this game takes place in a world I could never understand. The most reasonable explanation, I think, is just that the man is tiny. That means we have a kitchen where someone laid out all the ingredients and summoned a very tiny chef to put them all together with his feet on a series of tiny scaffolds. Is it a kitchen? It looks more like some kind of industrial area that's just covered in nothing but food. Not just the burger toppings. It's infested with living wieners, eggs, and pickles that all want our culinary champion dead. Or maybe not dead. This is probably not a death animation. Maybe they don't want to kill him. They just want to prevent him from doing his job and make him cry? Yes, throw your little tantrum, Boyardee. Your pasta power can't save you now! I don't know. I'd like to point out, none of these are a creature in a naturally occurring form. And I don't mean in the sense that they're fantasy creatures. Within the context of a fantasy setting, those are creatures in their natural form. A kobold is a kobold is a kobold. This is pork that has been processed into a tube. This is an egg that has been fried. This is a cucumber that has been pickled and then sliced. Notwithstanding, they live. Keeping that in mind, it is possible that since apparently living food items exist, they might have some moral objections to our chef friend making burgers out of what may be their cousins. But that's a little more dark than I think this game warrants. It could be that they just hate him for unrelated reasons. Maybe this is just their natural habitat and they feel threatened by this intruding chef and so they shove him around in an effort to ruin his career. His name is Peter Pepper, by the way. So yeah, the plot of this game actually is that Peter Pepper gets picked on by a pack of pickles and pepperoni. Sorry, hot dog doesn't fit the tongue twister. Now, this is all assuming that Peter is in fact tiny. Maybe he's a full-size person and he's tirelessly making hamburgers for titans. That just means that the sausages, eggs, and pickle slices are also Herculean. I don't know what the real answer is, and I don't know which is less ridiculous. I'd have an easier time making sense of it if you slapped two empty files on my desk and said one of these two people killed Epstein, but one was Dog Bono and the other was a catcher's mitt with a mustache. He's only named Peter Pepper in the American release, by the way. In the original Japanese version, he didn't have a name. He's just a chef. But also, the name of this game in Japan is just Hamburger. I don't know why that makes it seem stranger to me, but it really does. It's just so weirdly mundane for a game about a line cook making behemoth dishes while getting gang bean by produce. It's like if Katamari Damashi was just called Ball, or if Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter was called Person. If Data East made a game called Compound Interest, it would be about a banker who hurls sacks of money at never-ending Chewbacca's in order to turn the moon into a giant poo emoji. If that sounds like an exaggeration, you clearly have not played enough Data East games. I don't know. Maybe Peter Pepper isn't his actual real name, but kind of a nickname, based on the fact that he always carries around Pepper, which he uses to defend himself during the events of this game. Not pepper spray, an actual pepper shaker. 
I don't know if he brought it to work as a weapon, or if he just carries pepper on his person at all times just in case something needs seasoning. Like a hot dog's face. He has a limited supply, but gets more if he collects bonus food items that appear in the middle of the stage, Pac-Man style. These items are ice cream, coffee, and french fries. I'm sorry, is it pepper flavored ice cream? Hey Shirley, how are the kids? I'll have one large coffee to go please, but let's go easy on the pepper today, since I don't think I'm going to be waylaid by hot dogs this late in the day. Can you put pepper and french fries? Probably, but who does? Does Peter twist and squeeze the fries like a wet towel to extract pepper into his shaker? How does any of this work? This is why my therapist limits my time talking about video games to 10 minutes.